today, despite today's warm temperatures, of course, we still do have yes over a month of winter to go. Don't get ahead of yourselves. <laughs> That's just according to the calendar. So if you are over the weather, well, you are not alone because 10 million Americans struggle with seasonal affective disorder. And this is an important thing, but it's mm -hmm. time to shake off those winter blues. And Ashley recently caught up with an expert some, for some advice. Check it out. Okay, you're cold, you're tired, and you are ready for some warmer weather, but it's not here just yet. So how are we going to survive until that time comes? Well, here to help us beat the winter blues is Dr. Daryl Appleton. Good morning, doctor. Hi, thank you for having me. Thanks so much for joining us once again here on the show. I had a lot of topics to talk to you about, but I felt like this one has been top of mind right now for many people because we've reached that stretch where the novelty of the snow and the cute clothes and hats and scarves is kind of worn off. Mm. <laughs> we're all ready for a little more sunshine, but we're not there yet. So how can we get there? How can we get to a better mental state? Because, you know, even though I'm kind of making light of it a little bit, it can be very difficult to, to deal with. Yeah, 20% of people will find some sort of mild seasonal affect disorder. And this looks like tiredness, social withdrawal, um, not finding enjoyment in the things that you normally like to do, things that mimic depression, um, but it comes and goes with the season. So it's recurrent and it's seasonal, especially with us in the in New England area. And the snow, like you're saying, is definitely not something we are enjoying to see for the next couple months, hopefully not. But there are a lot of things research-based that we can lean into to help us fight these winter blues. And one of them is actually light therapy. They sell them on Amazon. They have light boxes. I've seen those. This is a really great way to actually kind of treat ourselves like a plant for a bit and just sit, drink some water, have some light. And it, and it, it helps. It definitely helps. Or at least the research says that it helps. Yeah. There's also something called a dawn light that helps people wake up organically to almost a sunrise. So it mimics that. So it's not blaring noises of your alarm going off, but it's this kind of really nice sunrise that research has actually found to be helpful. So anything with light is really good right now. Yeah. Going outside, even if you have the heat on in your car, but getting some sunshine, open your window a bit. That's also some really good stuff to do. And then you want to potentially lean in and talk to somebody. If you're finding that things are getting really low and, you know, the social piece of our life has changed drastically and you're, you're looking for supports, talking to somebody, a therapist, a coach, somebody, you know, in your community um, about these things is really helpful. Because what we do see is that if we don't fix it, it could potentially make things worse and it can compound on other issues that we're having. So that's a really great thing to do, especially this winter to get ready for kind of spring cleaning and getting everything out. And that means physically as well as emotionally. So leaning into some of those things can absolutely help with this winter blues. Yeah. And you mentioned that the light thing, I think that's so important. I, I I think we all kind of get a little comfortable, especially at this time of year. And, you know, we're cozy at home and we have our sweats on, but it really can kind of quickly spiral. And I do find that even if I force myself, like you said, just to kind of jump in the car and, you know, take a quick ride, maybe even open the windows, even though it's cold out, put on some music you love, that really can give me a lot more energy and kind of help change my mood. And it's, it's an easy thing to do. Oh, it's, it's absolutely. I know we always hate when our doctors say like diet, exercise, yeah. get outside, but it's so true. Moving your body, making sure the food you're putting in is fuel and really just going and doing, dusting off those cobwebs because we are still animals. We hibernate. This feels very natural for us to kind of like come in and just like hole in and not leave, but forcing ourselves out of that pattern will really get that blood flowing in more ways than one emotionally as well as physically. So I think that's great advice to, to get people going and, and get out there and get things a little bit better for yourself. Yeah. And you mentioned, you know, maybe reaching out to talk to somebody. If somebody has never, you know, worked with a therapist or counselor, life coach, whatever that may be, if they've never done that before, it's very approachable now. It's something that you can very easily do and not feel like um, overwhelmed by, right? Absolutely. Psychologytoday.com is a really great resource where you can put in your zip code, put in your insurance, 
say what you're looking for and all of these great materials pop up. You can ask for referrals. I am sure you know somebody in your life who is seeing one. Um, but starting that conversation can seem incredibly scary, yeah. but it is something that is so accessible now in so many different ways. And my advice is try it. If you hate it, you don't ever have to go back. But if you like it, then you gain a skill or you gain an outlet or a resource that you could use potentially forever. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice from Dr. Daryl. And we will link to her website at rocho.com.